Hello, and welcome back to Undisputed Chaos, where we got a muffin with a bunch of fruit in it or something. What the hell is that? Fruit cake? <laughs> okay, so this is actually classic panettone. So, panettone is a type of bread that is made um, in Italy. Um, the secret ingredient which makes panettone so fluffy and delicious is the mother dough that Mr. Bod... Duco brought from Italy in the 1950s as part of the, our traditional 52-hour process to make each loaf. Our bakers save a bit of this mother dough every day to mix into tomorrow's batch, which is what creates our panettone's special flavor. Taste the tradition in every bite. So this is actually um, an Italian family tradition, uh, an Italian Christmas tradition, um, and they eat this around Christmas time. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the whole story is on it. I didn't do any deep research. Um, if you want deep research on, on Christmassy things, um, go ahead and uh, and check out my channel, which will be starting um, probably sometime next week. And we'll put a link to that at the bottom of this. Where did you say this is from? Italy. Mamma mia, we got Ben and Tony right here. I can't do it to eat the pen and pony. Oh no. Beep beep. Spaghetti. And that would be for, for, for your Aunt Marsha right there who thinks that that's hilarious when you do that. Um, but they do it in these special. Special. Uh, things. Oh, and they actually. Where's your Italian accent? Rise it upside down. I'm told. Kind of like a little cupcake thing. Yeah, it looks, <laughs> it looks kind of like a giant cupcake. It's a giant cupcake. Now, I Italian. honestly never had one of these, so I'm kind of excited about this, too. Uh, 10 out of 10 for packaging. Let's just uh, say that right now because it looks pretty cool. Um, the giant muffin. Now, um, another person that we'll link here is... Uh, Max Miller, who does tasting history, he's got a lot more interesting history to give you on this than I do. Um, he says, go ahead, just buy one. Don't make one there. <laughs> well, that's what we did. <laughs> um, we went ahead and bought one. It looks like angel food cake. Um, it's, but it's actually a type of sourdough. So there's the inside. Um, it looks like it cut really dense, just like watching it's it. It's a sourdough with different types of fruits in it. Hmm. You want some fruit cake? <laughs> You're a fruit cake, all right. <laughs> it's a fruit cake. It's not a fruit cake. That's awesome. It looks like raisins. Yeah. Like I said, I've never had it either. I don't, I don't know if it's going to be good or... I think it's really weird. I don't know what mm. to expect. It's like a sweet sourdough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like it definitely has like the essence of the sourdough. Like the consistency. I don't like the weird fruits in it. I actually think I like it. I don't like it. I don't know what kind of fruit I got. It was almost like a raisin. I'm not sure what kind of fruits this are either. Either. No. I'm just saying I'm worth a box though. I'm gonna say that's about a seven for me. I feel like I, it's just a matter of taste that I don't like it, so uh, I'm gonna go for unfair out of ten. I didn't even really say what kind of fruits I have. I think that this would make a really brilliant toast. Um, I'm not, this is a four out of ten. I don't really like this very much. Me either. Yeah, I was gonna say, this is a seven for me. I'm gonna agree with Matt's four. And not because the fruit like doesn't like add or subtract anything for me. The bread itself just kind of is odd. Blech. 
my tongue just tells me that a consistency like that shouldn't be sweet like this. And it's just kind of odd. There's so much weird about it. So much weird. I actually really am finding myself... It reminds me of bread pudding without the custard. It reminds me of bread pudding, but only bread pudding's a lot better. And tastes <laughs> good. I like it. I think it's good. Right. I'm not gonna say it's an I'm, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say an eight. Alright. Um I think I'm gonna make toast out of it tomorrow and see if I like it like that. Um, but yeah, I definitely. If you put this like made a bread pudding out of it, and like put, there is like, actually a bread pudding recipe on the box there for it. I actually like can see like how this could work in that. It feels like it should be in like bread pudding, but and if it had other flavors to like make it better, I feel like I could maybe like it. Toasted with cinnamon on it. Can you imagine what it would taste like with clotted cream on it? I mean, maybe if you had some stuff to enhance it, but as it is sitting in front of me, just cut off, I can't go higher than a four. So. I think with the fruit toasted in cinnamon. I think that's delicious. Because you got cinnamon the toast with, with the butter sweet. with cinnamon and toast on it, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. Because you got the spice going with the sweet of the fruit. I feel like it would make good French toast. It'd probably make beautiful French toast. I feel okay. like that it could work in those contexts, but just eating it like this, I'm not too big a fan. But all right, so panettone. There's a panettone. Some of us like it, some of us don't. It's just like anything in life, you know. And I'm on the beer. Lady, you mean love? Drink it to the drive. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Try it out. Tell us what you think. <laughs>